Hello and welcome back to Stellaris and our Federation DLC Empire, which is, uh, well, they're a bunch of Yes Men. Yes, they're a bunch of Yes Men. They are called the Republic of Yes. And if you haven't seen the previous episode, I highly recommend it because it will show exactly how we got to where we are. Now, what I'm actually going to do, because we are probably on the edge of a potential war, we're going to be building some more Corvettes. By the way, this video is kindly sponsored by Paradox Interactive, and there is a link in the description if you would like to check out Stellaris and its new DLC Federations. And the game is currently on sale as well, so you can pick up the base game and some other goodies for a, uh, well, for a percentage off, whatever that may be. Anyway, we are going to be building some more Federation Corvettes, I think. We'll build a couple of those. We're gonna keep a little bit of alloys back just to make sure everything's all right and we're gonna just increase our speed let us go fastest yes gotta go fast gotta go fast and uh, i think what we're gonna do is once i have enough influence i'm gonna build another star base over here i actually feel like i was a little bit unlucky perhaps with the various mining opportunities that we have so far seen in my sphere of influence i guess you could say because you could see here that we've got three mining here and yeah we could build a mining station there which is probably what i'm going to do but I, i'm going to try and build the star base first and then we'll go over there and build another little mining mining outpost but uh yeah it's uh it's it's kind of difficult oh yeah i also need to do that as well mm, you know i should probably uh yeah i think i have all of these surveyed i have all of this surveyed so we definitely need to go over here and get this mining opportunity too. Okay, An let's continue. Is making oh, what are we? Ah, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we don't have any access. Yes, it's Armstrong who was forced to return to the yes from Vidran X because it is within the borders of Serene Silk's Tack <laughs> Sovereignty, right? Ah, uh, I think that's a new faction that uh, we didn't previously know about and okay these guys are xenophobic isolationists that says everything i need to know and uh, they're probably going to uh well they're not going to allow us to enter their space of course but they uh they might be uh, they might be wanting to attack us but i'm going to say peace be with you we have learned of a new strategic resource encountered on Dorfil 1 in the territories of the Sovereignty that we just encountered. And... Right, we should proceed with caution. Okay, so let's actually have a look and see where they are. Oh, they're very close by, aren't they? Yes, they are very close by indeed. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Uh, I think, I mean, we're, we're pretty friendly with these guys now. You know, amusingly enough, as I'm looking through these menus, you can see here that uh, the um, Uva Zavani Foundation is actually inferior to us in fleet power, which i got to say I'm actually kind of surprised at because, well, usually when I play these kinds of games, I am really, really bad when it comes to building up military because I'm just like, oh yes, I love this research, I love this research, and all the research that I'm doing is to do with peaceful stuff, you know, it's to do with, uh, you know, research speed and giving myself more influence, and I just completely ignore all of the wonderful military upgrades, and that's exactly not what, you don't want to do that, you don't want to do that, okay, so at least one of our fleets has gone missing in action, uh, okay, so they are going to return 2206, wow, that's actually, that's quite a far bit away, isn't it, yeah, that is a far bit away, all right, and da, da, da. Oh, okay okay so yeah that is, so it is it is missing wow okay so did they did they literally kidnap my uh my science vessel right there i hope not all right so i think the best thing that we can do with these xenophobic isolationists is probably try to improve relations with them i don't think that they're going to really uh be that receptive to this but they do actually have trade value plus 10 percent but they are warlike, as you can see right there. So that might increase their, their chances of attacking us, perhaps. But let's actually have a look. Yeah, they've closed their borders to us. Oh, okay. They actually have a Casus Belli on us as well. But they are equivalent in terms of fleet power. Mm, 
Probably should have upgraded my ships a little bit more, shouldn't I? Okay, well, let's see what I can do here. So this guy is representing our interests within the Federation. And these guys are absolutely fine with uh, what we have. So I'm going to send Jenna over to these guys. And hopefully she will do a really, really good job with persuading them that we are no threat to them whatsoever. And that we don't want any kind of combat to happen. Anyway, let's actually go here and build a star base because we can actually do that now so let's do it there we go and uh, that will enable us to have control over this sector even more so and there is my other science ship continuing oh yeah wow actually continuing to do a very very nice job surveying this area as well i'm actually kind of surprised that we haven't really uh oh intel level low Okay, I'm actually unsure why uh, I did not get uh, unsurveyed. Why is this all complete. unsurveyed? That's actually kind of weird. I was hoping that we could survey all of this, but apparently my vessel is not surveying all of these. Or maybe it is. Uh. Okay, that's kind of strange. Maybe I uh, maybe I did the wrong little command there for us, but okay. Ah, communications established with another. Aha, there it is. There is another faction right there. Okay, so they are the United Kalaxan and uh, uh, Nation. Yes, okay. And these guys are erudite explorers. They are totalitarian regime. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't have anything that is kind of compatible with them in terms of, uh, well, in terms of maybe appeasing them, so to speak. So I guess I will just say, new friends, bring, bring one closer to divinity. Uh, I guess. They're not really going to be too pleased with that, I think. But, well, whatever the case, we'll see what happens. Now, thankfully, I am actually pretty close to getting another base up and running. And if I can do that, we're going to be in a really, really good position with the amount of, uh, with the amount of mining and minerals that we are going to be able to get, which is going to be great. Ah, and there's, yes, it's Armstrong. There you go. Our beast of a scientist, Leanne Hassan, has returned, and she is insane with her anomaly research speed. Absolutely crazy good. So, I think it's probably about time. Uh, can I actually go somewhere? Uh, I don't know whether we've closed borders. Mm. Okay, so we're actually going to go this way. Uh, actually, you know what? I am going to survey this system first, and then we're just going to tell her just to survey all of these systems along the way, and uh, hopefully that will help us out quite a bit. Now, I'm hoping that my research is going to be done relatively soon. I think it probably is. Let me actually just take a quick look at that. All right, so let's have a look here. 23 months. 23 months it's going to take. Wow, such a, long, such a long amount of time. Ah, what is this? Ah, a small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but it has since been exposed by micrometeorite impacts. All right, research it. Yes, this is just routine. Very nice. Okay, so we're, we're done here, and I think I can probably... Um, should I get another... Yeah, I think we should probably get the mining station up and running before we actually do anything else. Don't think anyone's really going to be claiming the next system doesn't look as though anyone really wants to do that at the moment so we shouldn't need to worry about it and we shouldn't need to rush towards it should i say so that should be okay now what we do need to do is keep an eye on our fleets as well because i actually have a couple of fleets here as you can see we've actually started building it quite a quite a few uh we might want to go and assign a leader to this fleet as well but uh, i don't really want to do that yet until we are uh, having a necessity to do so. Ah, there you go. They actually they actually did merge with each other. Okay, yeah, because merging sometimes doesn't work for me, so I'm not entirely sure why that is. But there you go. We've now got a, uh, a fleet there. I wonder whether these guys can... No, these guys can't. Okay, that's kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure why this, the first fleet cannot complete. merge, but everyone else can. So, oh well, never mind. Now, we do have these other fellows, and they are from... As far as I'm aware, the other the other factions, yes, they are. And they're kind of just keeping an eye on things. It kind of makes me a bit uncomfortable for them to be here because I'm thinking, oh, they're scouting me out and they're going to attack me or something like that. But 
you know, that's probably just paranoia. Let's let's not uh, let's not take too much note of that. Anyway, the SS Magellan has found the anomaly. That's absolutely fine. And we have oh oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's actually not even a big deal. But I find I found that the uh, these two they're 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 kind of uh, kind of giving me some uh, some issues here. You know, kind of giving me some issues with trying to maintain diplomatic relations with all of the other friends that we could potentially make. Ah, uh, oh well, that is, that's going to be the drama. It's going to be the drama. Okay, so construction is now complete of the mining over there. A large portion of asteroid CCC four dash. 863 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could potentially be learned by its study. We should study its construction. And we're going to add a uh, plus three to the industry, or shall we say, engineering research in this area. So if we were to build a research system, uh, that would be really, really good. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not actually going to be doing that because I want to go over here and build a star base. And we're going to do that immediately. There we go. And then, then I think, I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're doing pretty well in terms of our expansion. And I think what I want to do is once we have surveyed all of these, because obviously we have our, uh, Yes, it's Armstrong's ship going over there and surveying all of these different things. Then we're going to be in a great position to see what else is going on. Oh, this is actually fantastic. This system looks pretty good, but I don't really want to overextend, you know? I don't want to overextend and basically be out there by myself uh, in that one small system and have no defenses whatsoever. So it's probably not, probably not the best idea. Probably not the best idea. So I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to do our thing. We're going to continue to build ships and we are going to do this. There we go. Let's just get a couple more. Just going to try and utilize as much as I can because you never know what's going to happen. And these guys, they're still wary of us. We are improving our relations, but they are still rivals with those guys. I really wish they weren't. I really wish they weren't. Oh, well, never mind. I guess we can't really do much about it. But you can see here that uh, our sector of space is actually quite decent. I wouldn't say it is massive or anything like that, but I think we're doing all right, you know. We're not doing too badly. Wow, this system is really, really good. Can you see that? Eight minerals, seven Survey engineering complete. research, and four energy credits. I mean, that's pretty rich for the amount of, uh, well, for, for, you know, how far away it is, I suppose. But... Anyway, these guys are now also declaring them their rival, which is, <laughs> oh dear, I guess we're going to have to declare war at some point, uh, even though I don't really want to do that, because as I say, we're going to say yes to everything, but that also does not mean that we are just going to allow people to do whatever they want. We are going to try and uh, maybe take over some things and uh, see how that goes. Oh yeah, now this is actually the fourth, fourth, yes. Oh yes, fourth yes. Yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm very imaginative, aren't I? With my wonderful, wonderful names, and we have fifth. I think I'm probably going to stop naming things relatively soon because otherwise it's just going to go into uh, silliness. But uh, I guess that's fine. Anyway, build mining stations. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's build two of those. That sounds good to me. And how is my science ship doing over here? Mm, uh, they're entering to, oh, 13 days? Why is it taking 13 days for you to do that? Oh well, I guess uh, I guess that's fine. This system is not that good, as you can see. It literally has just two science. So, personally probably not going to do that. Seems like there's something else going on here though. This is unsurveyed. And I don't have any vessels over here either, which is not very good. But I'm hopeful that our allies will actually be able to do something with this. Because if they can, we're going to be in a great, great position. Ah, there is actually a special project over here as well. Aha! Uh -huh. We have stumbled upon a starship graveyard on the surface of Jetaramus 1. The result of a titanic battle that occurred in close orbit thousands of years ago. 
a scientific expedition to study these ancient hulks and see if anything can be salvaged has been proposed. Okay, so I actually do need to send a science ship over there to do that. And I think that might be an idea. Uh, how we... Oh, look, look at this. This system is extremely rich. Alloys, engineering research, 11 minerals. What is going on with this system? How many, th how many planets do they have? Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I need to get over there and I need to colonize that. Well, not colonize it, but I need to build a star base as soon as possible. So I'm actually going to send a construction vessel over there and try and do that. Because even if I have to defend it, complete. it looks so, so good. It really does. It looks really, really good right now. Uh, unfortunately, Technology I did not build discovered. all of my mining there, but that's okay. Because at the moment, we have the control over the system, so we can build the mining stations after that. Anyway, there you go. Wearing a powered exoskeleton suit augments the user's strength and speed. The military applications are obvious, but it will also increase labor efficiency. Okay, that sounds good to me. All right, so I think I'm probably going to start um, getting some things that will maybe improve our combat capabilities. Maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? And we've also gotten the monthly Unity plus two, which is fantastic. So we can even get, so we can get faster traditions and all that stuff. That's really going to help us out. And we probably want to go for probably more food, to be fair. Probably more food. We have plus 13 at the moment, which is absolutely fine. But I would like our population to grow faster. What about this? Hmm. That might actually be quite good as well. That would allow for crops to be grown in... Well, inhospitable environments, normally. Hmm. Yeah, or society research. Could get some more society research. Nah, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for the food. I think the food is probably the way to go. Oh, borders closed. What? They, did they really? Did they really close their borders again? Because they opened them, if you recall. Uh, well, that's a little bit disconcerting, isn't it? Oh, well. I think I probably want to uh, potentially attack them relatively soon because if we don't do that, then we might have some uh, we might have some issues. Who knows? Okay, so it's a probably about time that I get another alloy foundry or something else. Let's actually have a look here and see if there's anything else that I really desperately desire. I personally don't think so because if I build another alloy foundry, I'm just going to get so much, so many more alloys, which will enable me to continue building ships whenever and if I actually need them. So I'm going to build another one of these because we've got a decent amount of mining uh, income at the moment and we're just going to be getting even more if we can actually get my construction vessel. Where is my construction? Oh, there it is. There's my construction vessel. It's taking quite a while to get there. 300 days it's going to take to get there. And I'm hopeful that we will have this fully surveyed relatively soon. It's gonna, wow, it take, it is taking so long to do this. Oh no, oh, no, no, I think I'm, I think I'm too late. I think I'm too late. This guy's gonna build a star base right here. Survey complete. Isn't he? Uh, I think he is, personally. I think he is doing that, which is really bad because this is such a good system. I would have loved to have claimed this, but oh well, never mind. If, if that happens, then that happens. Okay, so our leader has gained a level. That's nice. And we have some traditions available. Fantastic. Okay, so finally, we can actually build something. Well, we can actually learn something here. So I guess uh, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just trying to get these completed as soon as possible. And this is obviously our level up and we have fully surveyed this system. So now I do have the opportunity to uh, potentially build something. But where is my construction vessel? A long way away. 190 days away in actual fact. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. It's such a rich system. I might have to declare war against this particular faction just literally to... Oh, they didn't build it. It doesn't... Oh, they, yep, they did. <laughs> they did. They did. Absolutely, they did. Okay, well, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. Well, what can I do? What can I do? Nothing much. 
Okay, so they've opened the borders again with the Triac Union. <laughs> bit weird. Okay, so these guys, let's have a look at these fellows. Let's actually just weigh them up a little bit here. All right, so we're not uh, we're not improving relations with them or anything like that, and um, they are equivalent in terms of fleet power at the moment, which I got to say I'm not a big fan of. Thank you very much, but I don't really want to rush into a war at the moment because it is probably going to then result in a pretty significant defeat. Uh, yeah, I'd like to try and prevent that if at all possible. Okay, so how's Armstrong doing? Yeah, got a whole bunch. Oh, this is this. Oh. This system looks great. This system is looking like the other one, which I can't pronounce. But that one, the, the Will Cam one, looking really, really good. And, oh, she, she's done. She's actually done. Okay, this is fantastic. Let us build a star base straight away. Can I do that? Oh, it seems like it's not done yet. Oh, never mind. I actually need 66 more influence because I have been building so many uh, <laughs> so many things. Oh dear. I might be too late. Ah, here we go. Because we are of course a democracy, there are going to be elections and campaigning has begun. The result will be announced on 22-10-04, which is only in four months by the looks of things. Mm. Okay, so this has actually been fully surveyed as well. But unfortunately, I might be too late. I might not have enough influence to be able to do this. I need... how much? 62. Right. Anomaly detected. That would be bad. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so this is easy. Research that, no problem at all. And we will continue to wait with bated breath because I am literally just gaining plus two influence every single... Uh, well, every single week by the looks of things. It's pretty slow. Or every single month. Seems like every single month. Ah, here we go. And a new ruler has been elected. The yes sir, yes man will rule until the next election, which will take place in 10 years. There we go. Ah, the yes sir's reign has come to an end with their election campaign promises unfulfilled. Yeah, but I, I believe that that's the same guy, isn't it? I think that's the same guy that was ruling before. Oh, well, there you go. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right. Asteroid 425-413 is pockmarked with craters from weapon blasts and appears to have been used as a target range by someone roughly two millennia ago. Residual energy readings suggest they tested ex increasingly exotic weaponry, including subspace bombs and some kind of singularity generator. Our scientists would be interested in studying the unusual energy echoes that remain. Okay, so that's going to add a little bit of science to that particular, uh, that particular system, which is going to be very good for whoever claims it, of course. And I am still missing 50. Really? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in time, to be honest. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, yes, definitely research that. That sounds fun. But I think we, we might want to go to war against these guys. But as I say, the fleet power is equivalent at the moment, but I'm actually wondering would I be able to attack them with all of my Federation friends helping me out? Let's actually just take a look and see what these guys are actually doing. They have... This is their fleet right here. So they have 290 in terms of power and then 108. So they've got about, what? 300? No, 400 even? So they have 400. And what about these guys? They have they have significantly more, actually. So that's actually pretty good. They have 600, almost 600. So they've done a little bit more in regards to military power, which is very good. And then how much do I have? I have... I really don't have very good military power at all, do I? This is pretty bad. Yes. This is actually pretty bad. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, I guess I will just continue to build Federation class ships. Well, not Federation class, but Corvette class ships and uh, just put them into the, you know, joint task force, I guess you could call it. Let's merge these two together if they can. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got 555 and then we have 111. 
Okay. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Hydrobius Ela. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails is a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. An interesting, albeit primitive design, but uh, we're, ga we're gaining a little bit of uh, extra research right there, which is uh, quite good, I guess. And we have one of our scientists leveling up as well. Not bad, not bad. All right, so yeah, what I am going to need to do actually is I'm going to need to uh, bring my uh, construction vessel back here because as you can see, there's actually a bunch of resources that I'm not even using in my home system, which is actually really bad. So I should probably do that as soon as possible. Uh, doesn't seem like there's a construction ship or anything like that here. Oh, wow, that looks really good. Look at that, 14 minerals. Fantastic. Oh, I really, oh, wow, this, yeah, look at that. That faction right there is doing so well, just getting such good systems. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Republic of Yes. Led by scientist Leon Hassan, they call themselves the Union of Metaphysical, Metaphysical Cleansing. Their members support spiritualist and conservative values. A disgruntled faction will be a source of trouble. Now, this is when we get a whole bunch of other factions coming in as well, representing all kinds of different uh, ideologies and things like that. So this is led by scientist Mbali Kawuta. They call themselves the F Citizens for Freedom Network. They work for equality and justice for all denizens of our empire. And then we also have, led, <laughs> led by the yes sir, yes man, they call themselves the Peaceful Progress Committee. Their members lobby for a national focus on financial growth and stability through peaceful means. Right. Okay, so now that means that we can go to our faction list right here and you can actually see the various factions and what kinds of approval uh, we currently have with them. So you can see here represents how pleased it is with the current status quo and how it can affect the happiness of its pops. The higher the faction approval and support, the more influence we gain from it. So that's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, you can actually manage them as well. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say that I wanted to go with yes sir, yes man. We have restricting our policies to defensive wars only will please the peaceful progress committee. Affects faction approval by minus 10%. Defensive wars only. Personally, I don't really want to have defensive wars only because it just in case I want to expand out into this this particular faction right here because this faction even though they're equivalent in fleet power and everything i am kind of wanting to potentially attack them because they have some really good systems and i'm talking about really good here so it might make sense okay well let's just let it run for the moment and see what happens but i'm kind of kind of a bit antsy about it to be honest because this system right here and this system right here are extremely rich in resources and not being able to utilize them is going to be kind of ooh, kind of a shame you know all right well we'll see we'll see maybe maybe someone else will declare war against us and we'll see what happens then okay oh who are these guys uh we don't know who these guys are wait a minute yes we do that's our faction that's one of our factions from our federation seems to be uh, spreading out a little bit there these guys are all building star bases like no one's business. And I'm very much hoping that I will be able to build another one round about here. I probably should have gone a little bit further afield first. That would have been a possibly better game plan so that we could have expanded in this way where I would just go from first yes to fourth yes straight away. And I wouldn't have built anything in third yes. But I kind of wanted to prevent people from building something there and then preventing us from moving as we wanted to so that's kind of my thought process on it but anyway i think i should be able to do this i only need another 11 so i only need another 150 well i need 150 total and then i should be able to uh, build the star base which is going to be a very important thing indeed we cannot allow that other faction to build Survey another complete. Uh, another star base here to take advantage of the mining mining uh, opportunities. They're so good. They really are. All right, so that system has been surveyed now, and we have another anomaly that we are 
of course, researching, which is fantastic. And we are almost done with that. There we go. Okay, so we're finally done. Let's do it. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, so we do actually gain a little bit of a claim on one of those extremely rich mineral areas, which is going to be great. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Hydrobius uh, 6, even. Yes, the massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Okay. Well, nothing, nothing really concerning us there too much. And we are almost ready for uh, another tradition, I think. Almost. We need 871, and we are four months away from that. Should be pretty easy. Construction complete. Oh, and there we go. Our construction of the star base is now complete, and now I will be able to start building a whole bunch of mining stations. This is going to take 500, 500 of these things. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Yes system. These strange objects have been flagged as Theta aliens. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. In the Yes system? Why are they there? I guess because we are kind of peaceful at the moment. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, let's make sure that uh, our fleets are doing okay. Yep, seems like they're doing fine. Let's actually merge them together. There we go. 777 combat strength. I would say personally that that is not that good. Uh, but we can assign a leader, which might actually make sense. So let's actually see if we can recruit an admiral that will actually do something nice for us. So potentially giving us... Okay, I was actually hoping for something a bit better than this. But... Mmm... Uh, ship upkeep might be really good. Minus 10% ship upkeep. Why not? There we go. Okay, so at least we have an admiral there now, which is really quite good. Let's uh, have the home base be this. There we go. And what else do we have going on? Ah, there we go. Nice. This is our final, final thing that we can do inside of trading. Boom. And now we have the ability to select an ascension perk. And these ascension perks are extremely strong. Very, very strong indeed. That's the reason why you need to complete one of these uh, unity tradition uh, trees before you can actually do that so you can see here we have uh, things like uh, interstellar dominion that increases or shall we say decreases the starbase influence cost and also the claim influence cost so if you want to continue to expand at a at a good rate then uh, this is something that you might want to consider then we also get monthly unity increases as well uh, then what, what else do we have here? Consecrating worlds, blockers, uh, edict duration plus 50. And then we also have leader level caps. Personally, I feel like this is probably going to be the best because I was actually partially wanting to go for leader experience gain in my faction creation, but I don't think I ended up taking it. So I'm going to take transcendent learning in this case because it is just that powerful or at least i think it's it sounds it sounds pretty powerful to me okay so we have 659 in terms of alloys it's probably a good idea that we start or should we say continue building federation corvettes let's build a couple more of those and then we probably want to go over to planet yes and we want to build uh something that will give us a little bit more um, a little bit more energy credits if at all possible this is going to produce energy credits. So let's go for this. That is a generator district because as you can see, we're actually breaking even right now thanks to the fact that we are actually having a lot of ships at the moment. And I am going to need to take advantage of the energy credits as well in this system too because oh, oh, I have actually already done that. I thought that I needed to build some more things there. But this over here, need to build some energy stations there as well. But we're currently building mining vessels. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. All right, so we have our next research being completed here, and that is in improved deflectors by the looks of things, which is actually really nice. Ah, uh, automated exploration protocols. We actually gained plus 25% to survey speed, which is actually really nice. But uh, I think we might, 
I think we might want to go for that. I think we might want to go for it. Why not? Let's do it. Now, there's only going to be 22 months left for our farmers to gain their improvements as well. And otherwise, we still have our construction ship doing its own thing. Now, if we go down here and you actually select various other modes, you can actually see exactly what's going on here. So, for example, the unions map mode, for example, is going to show you exactly how large our federation is and it's actually not even that large it's actually not even that large in comparison to for example the serene silks tack sovereignty because it is actually quite quite big you know they're, they're doing a pretty good job uh for for them and uh it's uh <laughs> it's a little bit worrying to be honest a little bit a little a little but i guess what we can do is i'm just gonna actually just leave that on for the moment because it kind of gives us a better idea of what's going on and where our friendly factions are expanding and things like that. So let's actually take a look. Okay, so these guys are still wary of us. Their fleet power is still equivalent. Uh, these are equivalent as well. And these are equivalent as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, we might have some issues. We might have some issues because these guys are inferior. And these are equivalent as well. So one of our people are doing great. And the other one is doing not so great. So it is going to be one of those things where we just have to hope, I suppose. How's the science ship doing? Oh, no orders. Oh, you have no orders. Are you serious? Where are you right now? Oh, you're down there. Okay. Well, I guess, uh, I guess you can just continue surveying down here. Just survey all of these, please. There we go. Fantastic. All right. And I think it's probably about time we go to war against someone, isn't it? I don't really want to. That is a thing that I would have liked to have, well, probably tried to avoid as much as possible. But I'm kind of thinking right now it might be necessary. I mean, we have a second fleet right here. Let's uh, merge these guys. We now have almost a thousand fleet combat strength and I would hope that the enemy does not have anything as good as that. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean, we might, we might need to do something about this anyway, but maybe like split them or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, yeah, you could see that there's a lot of, uh, yes, it's Saracen. Yes, it's, <laughs> yes, it's Bulldog and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's just hilarious. Okay, so these guys are actually going to go and follow them. Can we can we do that? Oh, wait a minute. I selected the wrong thing. Great. Let's uh, select the actual fleet, please. There we go. And these guys are going to be following them. There we Construction go. Construction complete. Construction is complete. Ah, fantastic. Very good. So now, now he's done. Okay, so he is actually done with that. So now we can tell him to build a research station if we want more of that research or we can go and tell him to build another mining station over there which is i think what we're going to do and then we'll probably go over there and build more mining stations can i build this type of station around any of the planets in the system really it says that i can though well that's kind of interesting i'm not entirely sure why oh it's because i don't have any i don't have any minerals well, that's going to rectify itself relatively soon, or at least I hope so. Anyway, we have 625 alloys. It's probably a good idea to continue building corvettes and try and get those out as soon as possible. So let's just do that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hard with these, and we're gonna go for a war. I think uh, we're gonna need to analyze which one we really want to go and attack. Because here's the thing: if we attack here, this one right here. This might actually be really good to do because it's then going to become absorbed if we win uh, into our technology discovered into our empire, and it's going to make things quite a bit easier. But uh, oh, we're, they're actually friendly with us, like no one's business. So I'm actually wondering if I can invite them to the Federation. They are focusing on their inward perfection. I have a little interest in diplomacy with other. Oh dear, they have little interest with with other people. Right. Okay, so I guess I'm going to send Jenna over to these people instead then, because if they don't want to join the Federation, then uh, ah, we can invite these guys. Okay, so we'll, we'll try and we'll try and schmooze these guys a little bit and see whether maybe we can 
make that work for us. But there you go. Our farmers have now gained something. Our ah, population growth speed. think I probably want to do something with that. Defense army damage. That's going to be really good as well. But I'm going to take the population growth speed. I think that's probably going to help us out a little bit more at the moment. Survey complete. Survey is being completed. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And yeah, I think I'm I think I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far. And I think all we need to do is just wait for all of these things to be built. And then we're going to go to war. Then we're going to go to war. We're actually going to go and attack these guys right here. And uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, is there any way that I can actually ask the Federation whether this is a good idea? Because they might say no. You know, they might say, hey, this is probably not the best idea. And look at this. We're actually gaining experience now, which is really nice because co our cohesion is actually good. So that's working out quite well for us because, as you can see, we're almost at level two. And once we are at level two, we can obviously decide one of these things. I'm probably going to go for the plus one envoy. I think that is just going to be invaluable for us and i think we're yeah i think we're doing pretty well here all right so let's see war declaration war declaration majority vote majority of votes members decides if wars will be declared these laws decide how we declare war we could go for unanimous vote but that means that if one person decides not to do that then they will say no everyone will say no so mm -hmm. Uh, let's let's just go for uh, let's let's go and declare war in a second. I just want to make sure that all of our people are ready to go. And I can't believe I didn't have the time running at that point. I was paused. Ugh. Yes, yeah, just my luck, isn't it? Yes, absolutely every single time. Survey and now I'm actually unsure which uh, which particular tradition I'm going to adopt next. I'm thinking we'll probably go for something like domination. Maybe. Actually, I'm not sure about this. Mm, that doesn't seem to really help our ships out. Ah, this seems to help our ships. Ship fire rate increase, that sounds fun. Yeah, something like that perhaps. But uh, I'm also thinking maybe uh, Starbase upkeep being reduced would be quite nice. Construction but I, I, I guess we're all right the way it is. Okay, so our construction Survey ship is complete. now done. And we're just going just gonna to pause real quick. Okay, so we can build a mining station there. Let's actually go off and do that. And we have our science ship over here, not doing much, but you can see that we can survey a whole bunch of extra systems over here as well. I'm actually wondering whether I would be able to uh, maybe make some kind of shortcut. Maybe there's a technology that allows me to create some kind of shortcut so that I can go from fifth yes, for example, over to somewhere over here, perhaps. Maybe there will be a technology that will allow me to do that, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so that's almost done. Fantastic. All right, they're done. Great. And that means that we can now merge these two together. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, so that means that we are going to be making our way over to third yes, because that is going to be our launching platform into what I would consider to be their home world. Is it actually their home world? Yes, it is. As you can see. Uh, Siltaka Prime, their population is 41. That's actually pretty insane to uh, to think that. Well, well how's, my, how's my planet doing? 33 only. We're, we're doing terribly in comparison, aren't we? That's pretty awful. Oh well, never mind. Guess there's not much I can do about that, for the moment at least. These guys are now cordial with us, which is actually hilarious. Let's form a commercial pact with them, I suppose. Seems like peace is going to be the way to go. It seems like that will be the thing that uh, will maybe get uh, these people to join our faction. Oh, hello. These guys are actually saying yes to our uh, to our offers, to our commercial uh, responses and so on and so forth. So that's actually really good. And it seems like war is not actually going to be happening anytime soon. We might be able to declare war against Survey these guys, perhaps. Complete. Nope, that doesn't seem to be the case either. We don't have any claim on them, and I don't I don't think I can make a claim on them, can I? No, I can't make a claim. We can't claim any of their systems, unfortunately. Oh, look, they're actually inferior in terms of fleet power as well now, which would be fantastic. Uh, let me see here. Can I do something with them? Maybe what I can do... I could... 
I mean, here's the thing. They 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 potentially they don't want to join our federation. Oh, they, they might detected. want to join our federation relatively soon. So that might be that might be something nice. I'm gonna just leave this for now. We're not gonna do the research on that. Maybe what we're gonna do Anomaly is we are going to harm relations and we will be sending I guess Poloco to go and do that. He will go and harm relations with these with these guys and then maybe we'll be able to uh make some kind of claim as a result of that that might be that might be nice okay lead another leader has gained a level transcendency you know that's just doing its job very nicely indeed and all of our science ships are still doing their thing fantastic all right yeah we're doing pretty well so far our naval capacity is still really low as well by construction the way. complete yeah so it's probably a good idea that i actually uh build some more ships so let's do that. Oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Aha, a migration treaty with the Triac Union. Our populations will be able to freely move between both empires. Well, I'm saying yes, of course. And our construction is now complete as well, which is great. All right, so as I said, it's probably a good idea for me to get some more ships built. So let's get a whole bunch of those, just in case someone decides to attack us or something like that. You never know. And uh, these guys are actually seeming to be quite good. As you can see, they're actually, uh, well, they're belligerent at the moment, which is maybe not the best, but they are uh, inferior in terms of fleet power, so technically we could attack them if we actually made any claims, but we can't, as you can see. So, uh, we could offer a trade deal. No, 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 I think we're absolutely fine with what we have here. Can I invite them? We cannot propose this because we have declared blah, 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 a rival. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I really wish my Federation buddies would not have done that because otherwise we would have potentially been able to invite them to our Federation and then made this entire sector into our little nice sector right there. So I guess that's, uh, that's just how it's going to go. Oh, very nice. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Hakaja system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole that, our scientists speculate, may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, this could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to the other in a matter of days. Unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through would be ripped apart in seconds. If it could somehow be stabilized. Yeah, I think it probably could be with the technology right technology. Discovered. Speaking of technology, we have some new armor right there. And we probably want to go and get something else. So let's get some coil guns. Yeah, why not? Let's get some coil guns. That would probably be quite nice for us. And that is that is good. It's not too bad. These guys are expanding outward right here, which is actually really bad because we are being basically pigeonholed. You can see that. We're being pigeonholed right in here, which is making things very Survey difficult for complete. us. But maybe uh, there's the wormhole over there as well, by the way. But uh, yeah, I'm hopeful that what we will be able to do is, as I said before, if we can make these guys like us a lot, let's form a commercial pact with them and a research agreement and let's do all that stuff. Offer association status. Ah, we can offer them association status with our federation. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Yes, okay. Uh, are they going to are they going to accept? <laughs> I actually have no idea. It it does have the green tick mark, so I'm thinking yes, I think they might. We're glad to have this opportunity to work with them. Oh, okay. Uh, does that mean that you are actually associates with us now? That's actually kind of amazing if that is actually the case. Yes, they ha they are. They are. That is really, really good. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Can you imagine if we can invite these guys into our federation? Just see how massive their, uh, their sector of space is. It is going to be so, so good. Really, really good. Okay, survey. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. 
Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly de dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Planet Yes. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. And look at this, we gained 500 energy credits, and also society research. Very nice indeed. Good. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay. So I'm actually going to ask the Triac Union. Uh, no, they, they can't actually join us, can they? No, they can't join us because... Uh, we have a rivalry with them. Well, technically, I don't, but, you know, our silly, silly friends do, apparently. And we are insulting these guys at the moment. But they can't... Yeah, they, they also can't join our association, technically, because they have also been declared rivals. So, there's that. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more of Stellaris, or if you'd like to play it yourself, there is a link in the description. And uh, otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.